My name is Olivia Holden and I am the illustrator of the new Little People Big Dream book, Ernest Shackleton, written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vergara and published by Quarto Kids. So today in the Quarto classroom, we are going to have a little art lesson and get creative with some collaging also going to have a little explore of our own and find some nice textures and bits from outside and put it into our artwork. So if you don't know much about Ernest, he was a polar explorer and he set out on a mission to visit the South Pole. So we're going to have a little look inside the book and I'm going to show you part of the story that we'll be focusing on today. So, so this is Ernest Shackleton and this is his ship called the Endurance and he gathered a group of men to go with him to reach the South Pole. And so he waved bye to everyone and he set off on his journey. Now on his journey to the South Pole he saw lots of beautiful things like whales and penguins and also icebergs which is bad news for Ernest and his crew because his ship actually got trapped in the ice. Uh oh. So he didn't lose hope, he, he left the ship in the ice and he stayed with it hoping that by the springtime it would get released and he kept all his men busy, he told them stories, he organised the dog races and he also played football on the ice to try and keep the men busy and to stop them worrying about how they would ever get home. So a long time passed, nine months passed and when they were trapped on the ice and eventually the boat did get free from the ice but it snapped in half because the ice was just too strong for it. So they had to leave the boat and they had to drag the lifeboats to a place um, where they could possibly reach land. So they dragged it to the sea and they sailed out and they did reach land. They reached a place called Elephant Island, which was very dark and deep and surrounded by water and completely unknown to Ernest and his men. So today we're going to focus on Ernest being trapped on Elephant Island. Now there weren't elephants on the island, that's just the name of it. But it was very dark and cold and completely unknown to Ernest and the crew and today we are going to create our own unknown island. A bit like Ernest, we're going to imagine that we're stuck on our own island and we can be anything you want it to be. It doesn't have to be dark and cold and deep like Ernest's island, it could be very hot palm trees or very spooky and, and creepy or it could be very mountainous and rocky. Have a little think about an island that you would like to be stuck on or perhaps one you wouldn't like to be stuck on and we're going to draw it on a piece of paper today. So you'll need a big piece of paper like this, some crayons or paints uh, anything that you like to draw with and we're going to have a little explore outside to collect some bits and pieces to collage onto our paper so that our island has lots of different textures and things on it to make it look as crazy and as creepy or as spooky or as pretty as we want. Now, have you had a little think about what you want your island to be like? 
I know I have. So what we're going to do is we're going to write five words describing our island. And this will just help us before we go outside exploring to remember what it is that we're trying to create. And also give us ideas when we're looking for different things to collage. So the first word that I'm going to write down describing my island will be icy. I'd like my island to be quite icy like Ernest's. And the next word I'm going to write is rocky. Because I'd like my island to be quite mountainous with lots of cliffs. And the next word is going to be shadowy. Because I want my island to have a dark, vast, creepy kind of element to it. And the next word is going to be stormy. Because I want some areas of my island to be quite thunderous with lightning and some big, big, bold weather choices in that area. And the final word to describe my island will be vast. Because I'd like my island to be quite empty and lonely. With lots of vast space. So these are my words now. I've got my words now. And I'm going to go outside and with my little list and collect some textures to collage onto my paper and the words will actually help me create a story around my island. So I want you to do the same, pick, pick five words to describe your island and then head outside and pick some collages to put onto your paper. Now you can do it in teams um, or in pairs or you can create it on your own but just please be supervised by an adult when you're going outside. Hi! So I went outside and had my little explore and I've gathered some things that I'd like to start collaging. So the first little thing I picked were these shaped weeds, which I thought looked a little bit like Christmas trees. I thought they'd be quite good. I also picked some of these leaves with some texture on. Just because, you know, that white sort of fur that they have on them, I thought would be quite good for snow, as well as some petals which had fallen, which we could collage on as snow. Also, some leaves that are starting to go brown, as I think they make the best colours and textures for collaging. So we can cut bits out, these beautiful coloured leaves um, for mountains and rocky cliffs. So that's that. And then I've got some grassy bits as well for my island. So I'm just going to draw a rough outline of where I want my island to, to be. So that's the shape of my island. So I'm going to have this bit here you just because it's like a map of an island you can separate it up into different sections and you can have a different terrain on each section that you want to collage and next you can label the different sections when we come to painting we can go around these labelled areas Beat 
top so I'm going to do some really tall trees there. Um, this is going to be my rocky area. Call that The next step is to collage these bits here that we found onto our picture. So for this you will need some PVA glue and a paintbrush. bit here and then we'll move on to painting it up and finishing it off. So now we've painted the sea around our map and it's starting to look a little bit more like an island. So now we just need to paint the different terrain.
So once you've finished painting your island, you can use some pencils, some crayons, um, go over your labels and add in some details. I'm just going to add in some trees down here in my spiky land area and some more grass over here and I've added some giant tree trunks to the giant treetop area and you can do the same until you're happy with your finished imaginary island. So I've now finished my Shackleton Storm Island and that is the finished collage there. Hopefully you enjoyed the art lesson today. Thank you so much for joining me in the Quarto classroom. I can't wait to see all of your imaginary islands and see what you come up with. Thank you. Bye.